guys, it's Ashley and um, I'm the Digital Managing Editor here at Townsport Media and I just wanted to um, share with you something that I got in the mail this past weekend and I'm a couple of weeks late because it is now January 15th, um, but it's something that was worth waiting for. Planners. Um, you know that you are officially like part of the system an adult when you look forward to getting your yearly planner and I totally do and I'm really really picky about my planner too because I have so many things going on I'm a mom I have um, things that my daughter is involved in that I head up I have my job here and I managed the website and social media and all the digital things for seven stations in Evansville and Owensboro and I'm you know I've got a family to take care of I'm just it's crazy all the time and so um, actually I won this um, with a contest but when I started really looking at it I was like oh my gosh I gotta do a video about it because I think it would help so many people out there um, what it is it's called mama's little helper day planner and there's two different um, I don't know, all of these big prints that you can choose from and these books are just a little bit different and I'm gonna tell you what the differences are in just a second um, so we'll start with the damask uh, mama's little helper um, like any good day planner, you have your overview and your personal information in case it gets lost. I've had my planner get lost before and it's, it's, it's like your soul is gone, you know, it's like losing your phone. Um, and speaking of phones, a lot of people keep this information in their phone. Um, it's always good to have a backup because even if, you know, you have your things in the cloud or whatnot, it's always great to have a backup. I know people don't write anymore with pens and paper, but this is super important. Um, addresses again who knows what anybody's address is but if you're sending out Christmas cards or anything like that this is really going to be important classmate contacts um, I would put co-worker contact in here um, just in case I didn't have my phone or whatever might happen and I need to get a hold of um, somebody that I work with one of the DJs or my boss let on this is where I need to put this information um, passwords um, if you do write what passwords are as a digital managing editor I would strongly suggest um, making sure that the website that you use is slightly off or something you know what you're talking about but if this book does get lost and somebody finds it you don't want to have to go through and change all your passwords as, as soon as it gets lost and then rechange them so um, emergency contact information important phone numbers um, this one's actually really great for you know school daycare anything that you use on a daily basis and maybe your phone's in another room or um, pet groomer I never remember what my pet groomer's information is but I take my dog in all the time um, contractors repairs handyman um, these are really important to me because um, snow removal garbage pickup because I live in Boonville but I have like Chandler water and if I search Chandler water I get Chandler Arizona and I mean, I just can't keep up. It just takes me forever to pay that stupid bill because I can't remember. And if I write it down, right in here, that would be very smart of me. Um, family medical information. Again, super important on your iPhone. If you're an iPhone user, there's a little uh, medical area. You really should fill that in because it could save your life and maybe the life of your family member. But prescriptions, a lot of times with my prescriptions, I can't remember the milligrams that I take of different things, and, and I need that when I go to the doctor. And they're like, oh, how many milligrams do you take? And I'll, 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 let me see. Well, I can have that information right here. I can put it quickly. Um, important dates. I don't remember birthdays or anniversaries. If I can look at this ahead of time and get a quick glance, um, I might actually be able to send a present or a card. Um, more important dates. Picky eaters. If you have a child who's a picky eater who um, won't eat their vegetables or chicken or whatever, you can put that inf information here. And then whenever you have a babysitter or somebody looking after them, you can leave this out. And it also has meal idea information. So if it's something that you really liked, you can put it there for quick reference later. Common household dangers for pets. Um, if you do have a pet, there's a lot of things they you know can't eat and things I didn't even realize. Like I didn't know garlic and onions was really bad for dogs, and I just learned that recently. So here's all that dangers inside, outside, keeping them safe. Are your leftovers safe? Um, 
how long can you leave meat in the refrigerator before you have to throw it away? When in doubt, throw it out. Um, safety guide to pack lunches. To chill or not to chill. What are the fruits and vegetables that you should leave out on the counter and the ones that you should put in the refrigerator? Um, measuring conversions and healthy recipe substitutions. This is awesome. Um, I will tell you, I don't really use oil or any anymore whenever I bake unless it's like coconut oil because applesauce is just as good and it tastes amazing and it makes it kind of fluffy. Um, and so these are some, some really great ideas for you know, getting in shape for the new year. Okay, we're on to the calendar portion. Um, now this is the main difference between um, the, the damask and the floral is this part. So here in the damask um, planner, it looks like your day is going to be more vertical and you have a place to write in your meals and your goals. This is super important for me um, because I have weekly goal, goals that I try to write out. Like I can't get everything done um, one day at a time. I have to do a weekly plan. And meal ideas are really important for me too, um, especially when I have to make a grocery list. I always keep it in my planner because it goes with me everywhere. And I always have it and I can always write it down. Um, and so having meal ideas is really, really great. Um, now in the floral, let's see, just pop over to a page, it is more horizontal. And you don't have necessarily have the place for meals um, and goals, but you can certainly write those. You have a little bit more space right here to write in. So that's the big thing. And of course, this one has flowers and this one does not. So um, they also have cute little sayings at the top and different tips and tricks for life, I guess, um, which is pretty cool. And if you hop on over to the back of the planner, there is a to-do list, notes, um, just different things, I think yearly sort of things. And then there's a cute little pocket here for 2018. So you can keep like if you have a, a bill or something that you need to keep in there. I actually keep a life binder as well. Um, it's funny because I'll go to my daughter's preschool and all the other moms I pull out my life binder and it's got a section for preschool um, because there's a lot going on preschool. And I have a place for bills and I have a place for medical information and I keep all this stuff in my life binder and take it with me everywhere because if I don't, things just don't get done. And so um, this will be really, really helpful for me to keep. And um, I'm actually going to be giving away the floral uh, planner. So if it's something that you're interested in, then you need to go to our site and go to the contest page and register. And I'll be giving it away in just a couple of days. Thanks for watching.